Hello. Welcome to the Pre-Technical Mathematics. This lecture video is on Addition and Subtraction, Chapter 2, Section 1. Here we have some terms referring to equations. A monomial is one term. Let's see if we can give you an example. They can be complicated. Uh, we can have x, y squared. We can have any number of uh, variables, but it's only one term. Okay. A binomial is two terms. We can say 4xy squared plus 3y to the third. You see here we have an x and a y squared and here we have a y to the third. So there are two different monomials which we then say is a binomial. A trinomial is three terms. So let's keep using what we've been used to. Put that in and 3y to the third. Now the next term can be simple or again complicated, but it's three different terms, a trinomial. A monom or a multinomial is two or more terms, so a trinomial can also be termed as a multinomial. You can have anything uh, complex, Let's try this one. You'll like this one. Here's 7 square root of 2y squared uh, plus 2 thirds xy. How about that? I don't think we'd like to solve it at this point. We'll try something a little easier. All right, let's get going with adding and subtracting monomials, binomials, trinomials, and multinomials. Here's our first one. 5y minus 2y. This is the same thing as saying 5 minus 2 y, which would equal 3y. Okay, now I'm going to stop writing this step out because uh, I think you can understand how it works without writing this step. If you still need to write this step out, then do so for a while. Here's a trinomial. We have y squared here and a y squared here. Those terms we can add together because they're like terms. They both have y squared. So this is the same thing as 1. So we have 1 minus 6 which gives us a negative 5 y squared. Now, we don't have anything else to add to this, so we simply keep it with the multinomial, and our answer is negative 5y squared plus 4y. Okay, I hope you're getting the idea of this. Let's continue. Okay, now we're adding to our skills. Remember what we do when we have a negative sign or a minus sign outside the parentheses. We distribute that inside the parentheses. So let's rewrite this as x minus 7y. We distribute this minus 7y and minus 
times a minus gives us a plus. Now we can combine like terms. x plus x is 2x minus, we have negative 7 and negative 7, 14y. Okay, you try it. Pause or stop the video and work on the problem. You will find the answers in the course information. And restart the video when you're ready. Here's another one, a little more complicated. We have a plus sign in between instead of a negative, but you'll still combine like terms. Remember, only like terms can be added together. Back to me. Here we go. I must distribute the outside number inside the parentheses. So I have 3x squared minus 3y. Now I distribute the negative 2. So I have negative 2y minus 2x squared. Okay, let's combine like terms. We have a 3x squared and a negative 2x squared which should leave us with just x squared. Then we have 3y, negative 3y and negative 2y gives us negative 5y. Very good. Okay, let's take it a step further. Same thing, except this time we have 3. So we'll write it out. 2x plus 2y minus 3x minus 3y minus 4x minus 4y. Okay, now we have the trouble of combining like terms. Let's see. We have a 2y. Oh, let's do x's first, okay? 2x, negative 3x, and negative 4x. That gives us negative 7, and 2 is negative 5x. Now we'll do 2y, negative 3y, and negative 4y. We have a negative 7, and a positive 2 should give us again negative 5y. Okay, good. Ready to give it a try again? Let's get rid of this and bring you up one. Okay, here's a good one. This is even a little more complicated than the examples I gave you. But it'll test your skills on distributing that number outside the parentheses and also combining like terms. Okay, here's 
one for me. Now we have to remember the skills we learned in the last chapter, which was remember PEMDAS. P E M D A S. You remember what that stood for? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. So we're going to follow those rules that we learned before in working with these parentheses. So we'll leave the x and we'll solve that inside parentheses first. So we'll take 5y plus 3y minus 3x. So first we want to combine like terms. 8y minus 3x now we don't really need the parentheses anymore we can combine like terms positive 1x and a negative 3 is negative 2x plus 8y Okay, let's try for something harder. Oh boy, we're really combining our skills here. Well, we'll just take it step by step. We'll leave this negative on the outside. We'll leave the negative 3 and we'll see what we can do inside first. 4x minus 5x plus 4y. Okay, now let's combine like terms. We'll keep this negative out here. We'll keep this negative 3. And we'll say minus x plus 4y. Okay, we're slowly getting there. Let's do the inside parentheses first again. So we'll keep this minus outside. Negative 3 times negative x is a positive 3x. Negative 3 times a positive 4 is a negative 12y. Now we just have to distribute this negative sign. So our final answer is negative 3x plus 12y. It takes a few steps to get through to the end, but as long as you take it step by step through the parentheses, it's not a problem. Okay, you ready? Here's yours. Okay, and I've got one more for you. <clears throat> Just take this step by step. And then check your answers in the course information. That's the end of this video lecture.